I don't know what it is, guys, <clears throat> but PlayStation or the, the not PlayStation, but the state of play seems to be showing some of the coolest games to drop recently from what I'm covering right now. And I mean, this video will be on the towers of I think it's Aghasba, Aghasba, Agsba, <laughs> Agsba. <laughs> Without further ado, guys, thank you for tapping into the frequency. Remember to be your authentic self. Remember to love yourself. If you guys want to send me any videos, leave them down below. DMing me is the best way to get videos to me, like, just right in front of my face. And, yeah, then let's just go. I, I don't have any more to say. These games have been hitting. But this, uh, from the, I think it's from the thumbnail or something, this kind of looked like um, Breath of the, was it Breath of the Wild? I don't want to say that it's like that. It's just like that style of game, not the actual look. Cause I don't want to just like, cause I could say it looked, it looked like Ken and Bridge of Spirits as well. But let's just get into the video. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And not exactly like just, I don't know. That was the first uh, thing that came to mind. Not comparing them by the way, but all right, let's go. All right, here we are. Here we are. At last, we've returned to our ancestral land. More cannabis spots. It all I begins with a cold. Hold on, I'm talking too much. But like I said, okay, kind of bridge of spirits more. But okay, like this. To our ancestral land, a gasp. A gasp. It all begins with a colossal seed. Grow ecosystem to unlock 40 creatures. This is a survival game? November is early access? Why are these games hitting like this? This game looks awesome too. Like literally I just got done watching the midnight walk. This one looks awesome. Oh my gosh, give me a second. What are these beautiful games dropping? What the hell is going on? The creativity is is there, man. See, this is why I say like the AAA, we don't even look at the AAA games right now. This, this level, I don't know if they're like what, the tiers are but i always i think these are like indie game devs right let me hold on give me a second all right first of all i don't even i, I don't even know what to say let me, like where do i start let me get some thumbnails and then i let me come back okay this is sick this right here hold on these okay so let's just talk about environments first i i have to break it down in sections or my brain is gonna explode first of all from the environments the environments look absolutely beautiful I love the flora and fauna. I love the look of the creatures. They're just like, <laughs> some of them are doofy cute and everything. Um, I, I just love the look of what they created here, man. It, it's super sick. And then here, they build three different types of towns. I wonder, like, wonder. It, it, you know, I don't, I'm not even going to get into how um, how intricate the building system is, but like like this this is beautiful then this is beautiful i don't know if we're seeing too many different zones maybe like four or five and then like a nighttime and a, a sea location and then the nighttime version of the other locations i wonder how like lit up the sea is at nighttime too but i mean those also make them technically whole new worlds when it's night but then there's this zone right here beautiful environments man those rock creatures will get back to them this right here like at night 
I don't know if this is the same like zone we've been looking at or whatever, but like the flying creatures, then this kind of still looks like that misty, decrepit kind of washed zone. I, I don't know. I don't know unless I don't know if you're re rebuilding life or building life back into the world. But then this zone right here, I don't <clears throat> beautiful environments, dude. Beautiful environments. And I always think of like this very like spiritual sense when it comes to like flying whales and creatures and these like I don't know. I just I like it, man. And the hang gliders, man. Every game got some gliders now. Power worlds, everything. I gotta finish up Power Worlds. I gotta go back and play that, man. I miss my world. There's all these amazing games drop, and you really can't play them all. You can play a lot. You can play a lot, but I, I didn't even get far. Power Worlds is fun, man. I get that bone creature and everything. So that that's it for the environments, man. I mean, the environments are beautiful. They seem massive. Of course, you're gonna need a hang glider for some worlds like this. Like, of course, you're gonna need hang gliders for a world like this, dude. Man, a world to explore and create. I wonder if you can, like, build anywhere. Meet peculiar characters. Yeah, these tongue things, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. The devs had a little bit of fun making these things. These things look weird, bro. <laughs> they look weird. But I love it, man. Um, This, too, this ashen area. I don't know what's going on. And then look at the character using the blade. That's what I want to talk about, too. The combat, the combat looks, like, roughly like it's going to be pretty simple. But, I mean, that two-handed sword can't get a really good angle on it. But if you see this green, like, curved blade right here on the character, ooh, I can't wait to see, see that. And this is an early access announcement. I, I wonder if there's gameplay and stuff, gameplay trailers out there. I mean, we got gameplay in the early announcement, which, man, that's a chef's kiss. But, like, look at hang gliding from this high up. I'm wondering if there's, like, those um updraft. Uh, which I'm call it's those like geysers or something that take you very very high up in the air because or you can climb your towers I'm assuming because they're huge this also right here reminds me of like like part of a section being purified I don't I don't know why unless it's like a fast travel or like you're building something there but it looks like like the rainbow gate the rainbow bridge some some sort of cool thing connected to the heavens I don't know but I mean it I mean, it looks cool. Like, you're providing food and stuff, too. Is that what this was, right? S small garden flower, but maybe it was just decoration. I don't know. No, it looks like there's some crops and stuff. I, I wonder, like, how what's all going like, to come into play. Yeah, you can climb up, man. Climb up stuff, so. probably There's probably going to be geysers and stuff that take you very high. But, I mean, from everything they, they're showing, it's kind of crazy. For an, an early access announcement trailer gotta give it to them man i like these i like these survivalist games this looks like more of a simpler game on the survival side or like the building and crafting it seems like it's going to be more about like exploring the world than heavily having this in, cra in crazy in depth like crafting system and everything it's going to be more focused on fun and building like this big world see like even this right here diet small raw meat spike jaw which is just looking at this creature possible loot I wonder it could be it could catch me off guard it could maybe be like there is actually a heavy heavy uh big like resource collection side but it seems like i don't know and i complete can, can be completely wrong i don't say this about every game especially when it's like survival based that um that uh the resource management looks like or the resource collecting and stuff looks like it's going to be like minimal this kind of looks like the game for it that it's not going to be you're not going to grind super long to build these worlds, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Something just has me saying that right now, but I could be wrong. It could be just like your standard survival game where you're going to put in some, put in some time getting a, a city like this going. <laughs> and I wonder if the towers of Ag Agasba, was it Agaspa? I think it was Agaspa. Agaspa it was, um, it's like this whole thing with these like very tall wind turbines and like windmills and this whole idea of just being like i don't know like natural energy that's what i think about i love it man i love games like this because it just it just transports you to a world where i almost wish earth was looking like this man you guys you guys went off but yeah man i do wonder if you can build anywhere 
I wonder if there's going to be some deep sea behemoths. There's some deep sea creatures in there that'll that'll come for you. That is terrifying to me in the whole deep sea stuff, like subnautica level beasts. I'm not saying there's going to be subnautica level threats in there, but man, that idea of being in the water with something big and you're just a humanoid creature swimming around. Nah, bro. Miss me with that. You can climb on the creatures in this like some monster hunter world, so I don't know what's in the ocean, but... Dude, what are these, these? What are the? What are these devs smoking right now in these games? They they are coming out so clean. There are gonna be so many game sticks. Like this game right here is taking me away. I'm like, I can see myself getting lost in this game if it's that big, dude. I'm like, shit. I'm not gonna be able to play anything. This is beautiful games coming out, man. That you gotta spend some time with. And I am really like a one game kind of person, but a one game in different genres. So my boy and I have this and I actually adopted it from him a little bit. But you got to have that really, really good shooter that you like playing. And you got to really have that, that one really, really good survival game that you play. And then you got to have that really like that adventure game sort of sort of things like that. But anyways, what I'm, what I'm going to say is this is a very beautiful game. I covered the environments. As far as the creatures go, the creature design, I mean, I got nothing but good stuff to say. These look like some stone terracotta ash warriors, some rocky warriors going on. I can't wait to see what that's about. And like, maybe it's like some evil corruption stuff in the world, but it looks sick. This boss looks gigantic. Um, given that Shadow of the Colossus vibes. Also like the climbing in the game too. But as for the building and crafting, there wasn't too much shown, but it definitely looks like it's really in tune with the world, really like tailored to the world and this sort of idea of like just mixing the flora and fauna with the buildings and everything. And I think it looks beautiful. And if you can build anywhere, that makes it even even cool because it says a, a vast world to build and create. So I'm like, that's a really good sign. I wonder too, if you get like villagers, like you have villagers and like the characters you meet along the way, or maybe people start to move into your village. That's also sick too, because I don't want these massive towns with like just no one in them. So hopefully people go to certain stations or it's very like, I don't know, even if they're standing around and they, they don't have too much animation and you got maybe a few people walking around that like, you know, it looks like that. I'm trying to see from this aerial view. I don't know that it doesn't look very lively from the aerial views. I can't tell, but that that is the only thing I would say. When in a survival game, that's the biggest thing that makes me sad about a lot of them. But for this game, it looks like it should literally be something in the game. Is having NPCs or stuff walking around your village or just people move in. I, yeah. I don't know what the story is like. And if like, I don't know, whatever they are, I'm just going to call them humans for now. Like the character you play are like scarce in this world. I don't know. But man, having some NPCs standing around or making the towns feel lively or better than having just a gigantic void base that you come back to to craft there and there it'd be cool to have like a reason to come back and want to see like you're just like not just seeing what you've created but that's like a plus having npcs and stuff walking around I'm trying to see if there's any npc it doesn't look like it but i mean that's all right it doesn't look like it though but another six survival game coming out this just reminds me of um that air one i played i think it's avowed no no avowed is the game coming out by obsidian um the one game i played where you have the hang glider or not hang glider what do you have you have some sort of gliding tool in that game oh the wingsuit you have like the wing you yeah you have like i think it is like that you have the wingsuit type thing like from a avatar the last airbender um but what is what is that game called? It's a really, you're like air nomads, man. I love that game. I just played it on the channel. I was going to return to it and fish. So I was building a huge base, but then I ended up stopping. Yeah, man. I don't know. These games are landing. What is going on, man? They are cooking up, dude. <laughs> they, are cook they are cooking up with these games. Guys, Tower of, man, I'm, Tower of Augs Augusba. I'm going to be in here. It's another game I'm gonna be in here, dude. I don't Hard and Dark Cloud. The game looks great, but that early access scares me. Please let the early access gods be kind to this one. 
yeah man i like please be a game I don't, I don't know about the early access trap or whatever does it is it like games are usually trash in early access because i don't play too many early access games or really know what happens to some of them but i'm assuming just if i can connect the dots it's like what they don't end up coming out like we're fine i don't know it's early access i don't know either way it looks good to me i don't know these games look fire so yeah man hopefully the early access gods are are, are with us here <laughs> Much love in Moonlight and shout out to the devs that worked on this. This is sick and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.